Okay, hey there, hello everybody, and welcome again to Headballage 101! Yeah. Right on, thanks for coming out everybody to uh, another lovely evening here uh, in Hi. Beacon Hill Park everybody. in Victoria. <laughs> and uh, my name's Ted Smith, I'm the president of the International Headballage 101 Society. And I do all sorts of stuff trying to legalize cannabis so that we can all use it uh, every day, all day, without fear of the law. And uh, tonight, uh, we're here to uh, watch, or in some cases, oh, play in a game show I've created called Reach for the Pot. And so, uh, for those of you who have never been here before, this is a, a very unique experience to Victoria. Uh, but uh, in many ways, uh, not for long, because uh, this summer I'm, I'm taking the show on the road. Uh, this Friday, in fact, uh, we're sending uh, the textbook for Hempology 101 uh, to the printer. And in a month, uh, I'll actually have a textbook for Hempology 101 for sale, not just here, but across Canada. And I'm going to be touring uh, in Ontario and Alberta this summer and uh, taking the game show Reach for the Pot to places that have seen nothing like it. But there is nothing like it. This is very unique to us here. Uh, and, and so uh, thank you very much. And uh, really looking forward to uh, going and blazing up the country. But I'm um, also really looking forward to the, the full tournament here. Because uh, tonight is just one of seven games. Uh, this is the third quarter final. And uh, there's semifinals and a final yet to come. And uh, if the first two games are any indication, it's going to be one of the most fun, competitive tournaments uh, that we've ever had, and uh, tonight's game is no exception. Uh, tonight we have uh, uh, among the team players, uh, the captains, uh, James and uh, Ryan, are on the board of directors, so in a sense, uh, tonight uh, it's the uh, uh, board head-to-head. -head. Next week, uh, Jay's laughing because we got uh, uh, two of last year's returning champs going head-to-head -head this year, Jay and Brandy, who uh, work with me at the Buyers Club, are uh, 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 going for it uh, next week, but uh, this week uh, we've got uh, a bunch of board members and friends uh, playing it out And uh, I must admit I've made some really tough questions So uh, I, I tried to make some easy ones to make up for the tough ones, but uh, Yeah, it's uh, a lot of fun. I'll explain the rules once to you all if you've never seen it before uh, And uh, if, I think all of our contestants have played it more than once though, so uh, they know the rules But here it is for you folks. Um, there's ten chances to get points um, eight of them are trivia questions where I'm going to ask a question and when someone claps, that means they've hit the buzzer and I'm going to get them to give me an answer right away. They can't talk to their teammates anymore. They can't think about it. If they've clapped, they've got to give up an answer. If they get it right, it's worth 20 points. If they don't, the other team gets a chance to uh, answer the question for 20 points. If uh, they don't get it correct, I try to give out some hints and both teams get to guess for 10 points. If nobody gets the 10 points, we do multiple choice, and that's worth five. Um, that's pretty much the rules. I make up everything else as we go. There's a couple of other uh, uh, challenge questions, I call them, but that's pretty much how it works. It's nice and simple, and uh, here we go. So uh, the first question I ask each week is uh, usually about Hempology 101, or what we call our sister club, um, the uh, Cannabis Buyers Club of Canada. And uh, that is uh, a group that I formed uh, over 16 years ago, uh, selling cannabis products to people with uh, permanent physical disabilities and diseases. And I started in a van. I came here from Ontario. I really didn't know anybody. And I, I uh, started Hempology, uh, meeting every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock, and uh, started to meet sick people. And so I made up a pamphlet and uh, just uh, started to, to help people with that. And uh, it's gone from an apartment to now 11 years. I've had a store, and uh, it's been really exciting times. And uh, just a couple weeks ago, uh, we had uh, a situation where we had two special enforcement agents from Revenue Canada finally show up. And uh, that's because while I've been uh, breaking the law publicly for 16 years selling medicine, uh, and I've paid my own taxes for that, um, I haven't collected uh, uh, employee income deductions from the staff that work with me, or I haven't collected HST and GST and paid the government that from the medicine we're selling. And so Revenue Canada wants that. They also want the money from the growers of the club. And so in order to get that money, I'm going to force Revenue Canada to legitimize the buyer's club and to help us get a new space with a restaurant and, and a full vapor lounge and everything that we've always wanted 
I'm going to get the Chamber of Commerce to help, the City of Victoria, the Health Region, and we're going to do it right here. It's, it's really exciting. And uh, this September, uh, we plan on having a, an AGM uh, to incorporate a co-op. For the first time, uh, we're going to have uh, committees and really uh, make the Cannabis Buyers Club uh, a full-out uh, cooperative in every sense of the word, uh, legally and, and, and otherwise. And it's really exciting times for us. But it also means a lot of work. So uh, uh, if you want to be involved in some of that, uh, uh, whether you're a member or not, just uh, keep posted and I'll try to keep you involved. But uh, we have all sorts of other meetings that we do throughout the year. Uh, most of them know are hempology, and I don't want to list them all off because tonight's first question has actually got nothing to do with the Buyers Club and everything to do with Hempology 101. And uh, some of the gang here have been around for quite a few years, some are new. And uh, by the way, I should mention, you get a lot of trivia out of our newspaper, the Cannabis Digest. I kind of spaced out. I don't have the recent issue here. I've got the uh, uh, seven before that, if you want to get uh, uh, some uh, information uh, about the history of uh, cannabis and prohibition. Um, so I didn't bring any of tonight's uh, or today's issue, uh, but uh, I think this is in the, the last couple of issues. So let's see if uh, anybody studied the newspaper here and uh, knows what's going on with hempology. For 20 points, what is happening October 2nd, 2012? Whoa! AGM. The AGM, there it is. Uh, James, in the past 20 points, uh, we have our board meetings the second Tuesday of every month. And in October, we have our annual general meeting. And that's a chance where you can get involved in Hempology 101 and the work we're doing, not just here, but on student campuses across Canada. Uh, we have more campus clubs opening up, it seems, uh, each year. My textbook will only make it more so. And uh, this year, with the publication of the textbook, we're actually going to have money to spend on Hempology pro projects, uh, a lot more than the low-budget stuff you may be seeing right now. So, uh, yeah, it's really exciting if you want to be involved uh, in that. Uh, again, uh, October 2nd, 2012 is our annual general meeting. So 20 points for these guys. And uh, I get the feeling James has studied every word in that newspaper. So <laughs> lucky for you guys, there's very few questions out of it. <laughs> but there is that one. So 20 points for <laughs> Puffalotomuses. <laughs> Sis, 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 sis. Sorry, there's four of them. <laughs> All righty, so here we go, folks. That's a quick 20 points. Uh, I'm going to say some of these questions are tough. Some of them are easier than others. <laughs> and some of them, gee, are about my girlfriend, Gail. Oh, no. If uh, you didn't see it a couple months ago, uh, when we were in the middle of our trial for the Cannabis Buyers Club, a wonderful article came out. Uh, in the Monday magazine about Gail and some of her uh, uh, issues and, and, and struggles and some of the clubs as well with their trial. I, I'm really proud to say that we changed Canadian law and, and made it legal for patients not just to eat cookies and make massage oils but even hash and honey oil. So our trial went exceptionally well. We're very proud of that. And uh, again, uh, our newest issue of the newspaper has an article of that. But uh, tonight's uh, second question is about this Monday magazine one which I'm sure all of our contestants read. And this is probably some of the easiest points here, so this is a, a, a quick one here. For 20 points, how old was Gail when she started to use cannabis? No. No. No, not that I want to embarrass you about Gail right in front of her on camera, but it's not. How old was Gail when she started to use medical marijuana? I think I heard another clap. 13, there it is, for 10 points. She's 13 years old. It's in the first sentence in the article. You're really close, but yeah, not quite. So there they go. Uh, Team 420 is on the board with 10 points. Uh, again, some of the questions are, are easier than others here. And so uh, it looks like there's going to be a lot of points. So let's see uh, how much everybody knows about the rest of the movement. So there's lots happening uh, with cannabis uh, pretty much all the time now. There's one thing going on or another. And uh, let's see if anybody knows what's happening this weekend for 20 points. <laughs> what big event is happening around the world this weekend? <coughs> James. The Global Marijuana March. No, that's not this weekend. Um, they had that a few weeks ago. 
Uh, they had them in Vancouver and all sorts of places around the world. Um, it's not the marijuana march. That's usually like the first weekend in May. But uh, that was a good guess. Let's see if... Did you guys clap? Okay. Stop the violence march. No, it's got nothing to do with stop the violence. Um, and it's actually not a march either. Um, and it's in Canada. Um, gee, we actually didn't advertise for it this year, but last year there's an advertisement for it. Oh, keep it to yourself. Okay. Does anybody have a guess for 10 points? What big event is happening in Canada? Oh. International Medical Marijuana Week. No, no, we do that in February. So are you guys going to take a guess here for 10 points and uh, tie the game? or um, The Hemp Expo? Um, that was the first thing you said. No, it's not the Hemp Expo. So uh, here's the multiple choice. What I do for multiple choice is I give everybody four options. And again, if you know any of these answers, I didn't say it. If you know an answer here, please just keep it to yourself. Don't yell it out because there's not just points, but way more oh, ego than you can see here at stake. So <laughs> let, them, let them fight it out amongst each other here. So this weekend, is it the Canadian Normal Convention? Is it the Saskatchewan Hemp Fest? Is it the Treating Yourself Expo? Or is it the Canada Cannabis Cup? Which one of these events is happening this weekend coming up? The Canadian Normal, the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws Convention, the Saskatchewan Hemp Fest, the Treating Yourself Expo, or the Canada Cannabis Cup? I'm going to get the leader's answer first. Okay, what you guys guess here? Your treating Yourself Expo. <laughs> and normal's your guess. Sorry, it's not normal, but it is treating yourself. Uh, yeah. Again, uh, they advertise in their newspaper, uh, and uh, last year put a big ad in uh, for the expo. It's, it's their third annual. It's, it's pretty much the biggest and best expo in Canada. And uh, I'll be there next year. My book wasn't out in time to go this year, but I'll certainly be there for next year. So 15 points yeah. for Team 420, but Puffalotamus is... is, is <laughs> has a five point lead on that so there's still lots of points on the table here so if, if you know me you know I really love the cannabis carols we got a little booklet here of cannabis songs and they're not only a lot of fun to sing and smoke pot going around downtown every year we do that the Wednesday before Christmas uh, cannabis caroling and we hotbox City Hall as well that's one of my favorite things to do we, we uh, go off this uh, alcove on Douglas and we put curtains up and block it off so about 40 of us can hotbox City Hall. So that's a lot of fun. It's but I also fun. really love using some of these songs for trivia questions. So let's see if anybody studied the cannabis carols. And there's a, a bunch of old songs in here and a bunch of regular ones that we sing all the time. But there's a few cannabis carols in here that we don't sing very often. <coughs> some songs that I don't know so well because my friend Carol made them. Let's see if anybody knows the full title of this cannabis carol. The Marijuana Blank Song. The Marijuana Blank Song. I'm sure none, nobody in the crowd will know this one because this is a really tough one. But uh, I'll, I'll, I'll sing it to everybody. Oh, no, you're going to guess. The Marijuana March song. No, it's not the Marijuana March song. Um, but do uh, you guys want to take a guess here? The Marijuana Christmas song. No, it's not the Marijuana Christmas song. Um, <coughs> but here it is. Hide a bowl, take a stroll through the park in the dark. Find a spot, get your pot, pack the pipe while it's right. Take a toke, let, let out the smoke, cough a bit while you sit. Move along with the bong, share the fun, everyone. Then have a laugh with everyone who's there, play frisbee or play truth or dare. Just make sure you have lots of fun, because marijuana is the one. And that is the marijuana blank blank song.
There's, there's, it's like, you know, there's one word, but two syllables. So what do you think? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? what do you think? Come on, spit it out. What? what? Is the one song. No, that's not it. What's your guess here, guys? Mayhem. No. Okay, so here it is. It is the marijuana laughing song, clapping song, growing song, or party song. The laughing, clapping, growing, or party. Which song was I just singing? Again, uh, laughing, clapping, growing, or party. So. What not you guys guess here? Spit it out. Laughing. No, it's not laughing, but it is clapping. So five points over here. Again, uh, some tough questions tonight in the game, but uh, everybody's getting points. So, oh wait, there is another question from the newspaper. How did that happen? There's uh, lots of stuff happening in the movement, that's for sure. It's the most exciting time uh, I've ever seen because people are doing stuff all over the place. It's really exciting. And uh, one of the groups that's forming is called uh, the uh, Normal uh, Women's Alliance of Canada. For 20 points, or 20 points will go to who, who can tell me who helped Tracy Curley and Lisa Kirkman form the Women's... Nor Elizabeth May. No, it's not Elizabeth May, but that would have been great. Uh, keep dreaming big. But no, it was not Elizabeth May. So 20 big points at this stage of the game. James, I know you read it four times in the last three days. But, oh. Well, you got to clap if you're going to give out an answer, but like, okay. You're going with Kyla. Kyla Williams, the author of the article, is actually also the person who helped out Tracy and uh, Lisa putting normal together. So uh, you, your instincts are correct there. Uh, Kyla has moved here. She helps run the seed bank now. So uh, James, uh, uh, studying the newspaper has paid off quite a bit over there for uh, Puffalotamisuses. Because they got a fat 45 points to the 15 of Team 420, but I have a feeling Team 420's been uh, working up for, for this part of the game for a while, so let's see how they do. Um, I believe there's two papers actually already in there. Um, I guess you guys, whoops, you got a pipe? Yeah, no, leave it all in there. No, uh, you guys, yeah, unless you guys don't have a bong, because they got one in their table, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I think they're sticking with the pipe. Oh, pardon? Okay, yeah, I'll get you guys the book. Okay, so you guys just can use that piece of paper? Okay. So everybody up here knows what we're doing. Each team has one gram of pot, and uh, they're both going to be uh, rolling two joints and smoking it as fast as possible, and the first team to finish gets ten points. It's uh, just that easy. So, uh, like I gotta say, we've got uh, lots of veterans up here. They don't need to be told what to do. They just need to hear the magic word. So, uh, you can't smoke the bowl until both the roaches are in it. Okay? Uh, you guys caught that? You can't smoke what's in the bowl until both roaches and everything that's left is in it. So, uh, that's uh, really the only tricky rule. Other than that, it's the first one to make it disappear. It gets 10 points in 3, 2, 1, go! So, uh, if you want to watch any of the uh, the last two quarterfinals or any of the future games, uh, you can check out our YouTube page. Uh, we just reorganized the hempology.ca webpage. So, if you go to uh, the right side of that, you can see links to uh, our YouTube pages, uh, our lecture series, and we've got uh, videos for our lectures uh, that we've put together. Uh, we have uh, uh, Facebook pages, we have forums where we keep a lot of information now, up to date, it's very well organized there, it's a lot better than Facebook, which is kind of good to see the current information, but it's not very organized, our forums uh, are, so if you want to get more information about hemp or uh, what we're doing uh, in, in our work, uh, certainly uh, the forums is a place to go. But uh, like I say, Team 420 is busting a move, they got uh, the first one, uh, well it looks lit anyway. 
I don't know, maybe it's rolled a little tight there. We'll see. That, that can be a, uh, a, a problem in this game. But uh, the uh, leaders, Papalotomistasis, have uh, got their first joint lit. And uh, Steve, though, can you feel the pressure? I think Steve was uh, going, going a, a little slow there, but he's got it, uh, he's got it going now. And uh, yeah, Team 420 is uh, busting a move here. In fact, I should mention uh, more about Team 420 if you haven't heard. It's one of the most fun things I've gotten into. We uh, play sports three days a week right now. We play dodgeball every Thursday at 420 on the back lawn of the courthouse. And uh, tomorrow we're actually having a barbecue. If you want to come hang out with us in the back lawn of the courthouse, we cook up dogs and burgers and uh, barbecue. And I bring my uh, music and we play dodgeball for the afternoon. It's a lot of fun. And uh, Saturdays we play soccer, uh, but we don't do it there. We play at uh, 420. Uh, all Team 420 sports are at four, we start at 420 and, and play till whenever. Uh, soccer we play at the school grounds uh, by the uh, uh, indoor jungle, kind of uh, in the uh, planter courts there. But anyway, uh, I should give you a little update here. Oh, geez, Team 420 is just flying by. They're just, they're, yeah. Buffalo of us, this, 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 may as well just slow down a little bit because these guys are just rocking it over there. And uh, they, they could use the points because Team 420's got 15. This will give them 25, but uh, Buffalo of us, this, 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 has got 45 go, go, go. points. So they got a, a pretty fat lead. Um, but. Uh, yeah, they haven't even. Anyway, uh, we also play dodgeball on Tuesdays again at the school ground by Blanchard Courts there. So 420 again uh, uh, th uh, for all the events: Tuesday, Thursday, dodgeball, Saturday, soccer. It's a lot of fun and a uh, uh, good group. And so I uh, hope to see you there sometime. But uh, there it is, Team 420 uh, picking up the, the the ten points there. So it's the table that makes them all relaxed like they're at home and shit, you know? <laughs> so, uh, you guys a, a Although if you haven't seen it yet, folks, they've actually got a bong built into this table. It's quite something to see. They got this bong stem sticking out the middle of it. And, yeah, good on you guys. But uh, I'm afraid you didn't get the 10 points there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there's a chance to, to redeem yourselves here with uh, the second 10 point challenge question in fact uh, now that I think about it I'm going to get uh, you guys to actually stand up and come over here uh, I'm going to get everybody on the table and uh, I guess uh, yeah, maybe uh, I'll give you guys a book because I only got, uh, oh, you got a book there. Here, you guys get that book so that you can keep it hidden so they can't see it. Because this is a, a little bit of a trick. I couldn't find two copies of this magazine, but I got a copy of Cannabis Culture uh, magazine. Um, it just kind of recently got reposted around Facebook. But this is one of the best cannabis cultures that was ever printed. And in many ways, Cannabis Culture magazine inspired me to have a newspaper because when they stopped printing a few years ago, it left a huge gap. And there was not only limited current information, but uh, there was not a lot of momentum happening uh, after Mark Emery, you know, shut it down and went to jail, basically. And so uh, that's why I got the newspaper going, in part, was to replace uh, what I saw Cannabis Culture doing at times. And they put together this incredible activist issue a few years ago before they went down. And on the front cover, they got uh, well over 100 different activists uh, where well they cut and paste pictures out and put them on here. Uh, it's kind of funny, uh, good night guys. Um, they actually uh, put me on uh, twice. They uh, accidentally got me on the cover here twice. And, but there's lots of other interesting people in the movement, celebrities that are on here. And uh, you're welcome to check it out later. But uh, right now I'm going to show it to the two activists. Oh, they're already starting. You guys know what the hell's going on. Okay, so here it is. Uh, Ten points will go to the team that can remember or write down the most number of activists that are on that list. These guys aren't even looking at it, they're just going for it, but this will be a uh, time limited uh, uh, because uh, next year, hopefully in January, like I said, the Cannabis Buyers Club should be moving into a new space 
And what I'd like to do is uh, leave behind a store for Hempology 101 to sell uh, books and magazines and also hemp food. Because one of the most important things about cannabis to me is its value as a food and, and a replacement for meat. And I know a lot of people like eating meat, but really uh, the meat production, uh, um, I guess, industry that we have now is really causing a lot of drain on our environment. And hemp protein, and or hemp health. seed protein, is uh, not only uh, incredibly healthy for you, in fact, in some ways healthier than eating meat, it's also a lot better for the planet. We don't need to use a lot of pesticides and fertilizers, and we don't need to produce you know, food that we feed to animals that we uh, then harvest. We can just produce the, the grains and the foods and the proteins uh, uh, without having to go through that second stage let alone all the hormones and things they put in food. So for me, eating hemp seed is, is incredibly important in the revival of the cannabis culture. And uh, in the Hempology store in January, we're going to have a great big selection of various hemp foods uh, that are available now. Oh, and uh, we also plan on uh, adding even more. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so it's going to be a, a, not a bong shop at all, but uh, a food and education shop. And then, uh, uh, partly getting into this because uh, uh, we're also going to be opening up a Team 420 sports lounges uh, eventually where we can have uh, kind of vapor lounges where you can watch uh, uh, on big screen uh, sports. We'll have athletes in all sorts of sports uh, posting videos up on YouTube and we'll be selling all sorts of healthy hemp food and drink and uh, having the uh, videos up and have a uh, full out hempology store going on uh, at the same time. So. We're really uh, looking forward to uh, getting the, uh, the first Tempology store up and running this uh, the next year. And uh, it's really just the beginning. But, uh, okay, that's it, folks. <laughs> we'll see how everybody did. Last one. Yeah, no, no more. Oh, I should have said you're going to get uh, lose points for wrong answers. So you're lucky I didn't do that. That's something I really like to do. But it's hard to get some of these wrong because they're so recognizable. But, uh, oh, it looks like Team 420 uh, may have just uh, bust another move and, and got a little bit closer again. We'll see. Uh, we got uh, Jody. This is for uh, Puffalotomus. Uh, then me, uh, Mark, Hunter S. Thompson, Chris Bennett, Bob Marley, Tommy Chong, John Lennon, and Dave Chaparral. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. And T420's got Michelle Rainey, Dana Larson, Jack Kerr, Chris, Bennett, me, Bob Marley, Dave Chaparral, Peter Tosh, John Lennon, Dave Marr, is it? Uh, Snoop Dogg, Yoko Ono, Willie Nelson, Tommy Chong, Woody Harrelson, and David Melvin Levine. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 15, 16 they got over there, so that's by a pretty wide margin. So Team 420 picks up both the challenge questions and uh, is making a game of it here, folks. Team 420 has got 35 points, and Puffalotomuses have got 10 more. They've got 45, so it's a very close, just 10 points uh, separating the two teams here tonight. So uh, the last three questions, it's it's coming right down to it. That was impressive. So uh, this may be one of the easier questions, and you you may know this yourself because I'm sure everybody here has heard this cannabis song. I'm going to quote a cannabis song here, and 20 <laughs> points goes to the team that can tell me what song says, "With that flame, I light up the cherry." Holy cow, buddy. Hits from the ball from Cypress Hill. You just got it right off. And Team 420 is on a tear. And has just won, what, 40 consecutive points there. And has come from behind and now got a 10-point lead. So, like I said, there's a few simple questions. And here we go. For the first time, Puffalotomus is, 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 is behind looking up. But there's still two chances to get points there. And let's see how it goes. You, and this one here, you're probably going to have to guess uh, because actually the last two questions you're going to have to guess because, yeah, I made some really hard ones here. But it's not too hard to guess. Uh, again, I got a copy of uh, Cannabis Culture here, one of the best ones they ever put out. 
and I've got a title of an article. Let's see if anybody can guess who wrote this article titled Ending Prohibition from Within a... Jody, no, it wasn't Jody. So I'm going to finish it. He didn't even let me do that. Ending Prohibition from Within a Political Party. Or did I finish it? No. No. No, I, no okay, yeah. Ending Prohibition from Within a Political Party. Who do you think? For 20 points in the game, there wow. is Dana Larson. Uh, wow, Team 420 just smoked you guys out. I don't know what to say, but they were just on fire there. But uh, please, there's one more question. Stick around. i got lots of prizes for you guys, too, so thanks for playing and everything. But i got to go all the way with it. Oh, you're smoking. Oh. Um, one of the more fun questions I like to ask, which is really, really tough, is... Uh, uh, well, we do a Price is Right question at the end of every game, and uh, one of the tougher ones is you go to High Times, and each issue has, like, uh, how much you pay for really good pot in other places around the world. So uh, I thought I'd take this issue from, like, 2000. Oh, my God. And the place you got to think of is New York City. Not that any of us have been to New York City, so that's fair, because nobody here has a clue, right? Okay, within $20, how much do you think one ounce of Purple Star Black Domina was in 2000? Within $20. Sorry. Within $20, how much was an ounce? What do you think? $2.90. <laughs> no, it wasn't $2.90. One ounce of a black domina, what was that? Purple star. Purple star, black domina. Let me think, uh, looks like pretty much the most expensive stuff they're selling in New York back in 2000. So uh, I told you guys it was trivia, right? Okay, you guys ready for your second guesses? Somebody clap there, I heard, right? Okay, Steve, what do you think? 650. No, it's not 650. Um, oh, wait, no more hints? What do you think? 10 points? 380. No, it's not 380. We'll take a quick guess here, guys. Within $20, one ounce of the best pot in New York. <laughs> 260. No, it's not 260. So uh, here, here's your guesses, guys. Um, so was one ounce of the best pot in New York back in 2000? 320 dollars. 440, 540, or 610. Which one of these amounts was one ounce of the best pod in New York? 320, 440, 540, or 610 dollars? What do you guys think here? 540? Everybody's guessing 540, but no, it's 440. 440 dollars, so... Nobody got any points there, but T420 oh. gets the game. So congratulations, guys. You're on to the next round here. Again, thanks, everybody, for playing. That was a really fun night, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Before we wrap it up, though, uh, every time we gather, we have 42 seconds of silence uh, for the victims of the war on drugs. There are certainly a lot of people that can't be here tonight uh, because of this stupid war or otherwise uh, can't be at home with their friends and family. And uh, Mark Emery is certainly the, the most famous of them in jail right now for this war. But there are many, many hundreds and thousands of people sitting in jail because they grew or sold pot. So I'm going to uh, give everyone a countdown to three. And then uh, we'll have our 42 seconds of silence, please, starting in three, two, one. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming out. Thanks to all our contestants. We'll see you next week for the last quarter final. Have a great night, everybody. Thanks for coming out and smoke them if you got them.
I'll be back in the show That was awesome. Oh, shit, eh? That was great.